Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Salami, and today we're talking about Space Marine 2. A uh, massive FAQ drop by Sabre, so we're going to go through that in this video. So there's going to be a little bit of talking going on here, so be in for a long ride. Um, but the short of it is, there is Steam Deck information hidden halfway through that FAQ, which is worth talking about. So that's why we're making this video. So, without further ado, if you find this video helpful, give us a like, give us a sub at the end if you think it's worth your time. Also, in the description below, I will have a uh, website link and a discount code so you can hire your own private server for a game like Minecraft or Seven Days to Die and get 25% off. Uh, so thanks again. Right, let's get into the video. Let's talk some Space Marine 2. Alright, so what we've got going on here is we've got these beautiful greeting space marines. We can hardly believe ourselves space marine tours. The excitement is truly palpable and it feels almost surreal to be this close to sh sharing the game with years of hard work, dedication and passion from the team. Um, so they just go through some really interesting stuff here and um, about their new trailer that they've just released, the, death, the Angels of Death but we will just keep going. So we've got our battle pass here, of course, which is, we'll go over this now while we're at it, I guess. Um, so we've got the battle pass, which includes things coming in September, like the ultra wide support, private PVE, PVE um, uh, lobbies, and a new battle barge sparring arena. And then season two, which will come this year, I think in September, uh, or October, I'm not 100% sure on that, a new PVE mission, so I'm assuming new operations. And also included in that will be um, a new pistol, the Neo Volkite pistol, and a new difficulty, and a new enemy. I assume the new enemy will go with the new operation. Um, and then season three at the start of next year, there's be another operation, uh, a new game mode, PVP mode, uh, a new PVP arenas, uh, a new enemy again and then prestige ranks and more a battle barge expansion so i'm not too sure exactly what the battle barge expansion thing is but i'm curious to find out and then later on in 2025 we're getting horde mode another new enemy and another new weapon and i just want to point out all that's free which is awesome by the way it's just so good that that's free um, the fact that they can do that is amazing so let's continue on um, and the season pass is all cosmetics, which is awesome. And the first big one is a whole Dark Angel set, which is pretty cool. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got progression will be saved when we play offline. For the campaign, it will be saved on the system, so you can play it offline. But for the operations and for PvP, you will need to be online, which makes sense because that is all progression based on the server for your unlocks, like your perk skins and other rewards. So that's fair enough. Um, there is crossplay, which is awesome. And cross saves too. Sorry, cross saves, which is awesome. No land, that's that's not a thing anymore, unfortunately. Uh, and yes, full cross play between all the systems and that will only be for the PVE mode. So the operations and the co-op campaign, um, and for the campaign and then i assume they will also include horde mode when that comes out next year and pvp will be separate the no, the only problem i'm seeing with the fact that they're not putting pvp with everybody here is if you're on steam deck which we are going to be we may not be able to uh we can't play in with the other controller players which is unfortunate but we take what we can get now, uh, they just say there's any restrictions on what classes can be played in operations and eternal war. Um, you can only include one space marine of each class in operations and in eternal war there's a limit of two. Um, that's pretty interesting that you can only have two of each. So you can only, you could have two, uh, three lots of two basically, because it's 6v6. So that's pretty, that's not too bad. And in operations that makes total sense as that's a, uh, it makes you work with your team. I don't think there's matchmaking though for operations, so that could be a pain. Is there friendly fire? There is no friendly fire in all three game modes, which is nice. You don't have to worry about blowing up your plasma cannon in someone's face. 
they've got performance modes here. This doesn't really affect us too much. They've got voice chat and on PC they've got text chat, which we'll be able to make use of on the Steam Deck. Um, they have force triggers and from the dual sense, so hope but no haptic feedback at launch. So we may get that. Uh, they've got all the ray tracing thingy my bobbies wide support we're not too worried about that here's the big one will the game be playable on steam deck we are working on official steam deck support but it's not ready yet we are currently targeting the end of the year for full steam deck support which is freaking awesome i am very happy about that that has made my day because a few of my mates had asked me if we were going to be able to play it on steam deck and i honestly did not know at the time so now that we've got confirmation of steam deck support is coming we are in the money uh we have no plans for mods they're using easy anti-cheat on pc but clearly that will be working on steam deck so i'm hoping even though it's not official support day one I'm hoping we'll be able to play it on Steam Deck. Does the game use DRM software like Daruno? No. Uh, day one on GeForce Now? Yes. So that's another option for us this here is to use GeForce Now, um, which is probably what I'm going to do, to be honest, especially if I'm playing on Steam Deck. It's not on Game Pass. Um, they've got HUD elements. We're not too worried about HUD elements. Um, we can preload the game. PC preloading will not be available, so we just got to download it when it releases. Do I need to have played the first Space Marine and enjoy Space Marine 2? Um, it's not a requirement, but I really think you should play the first game. I think it, you know, at seven hours, you might as well play the first one. They've got accessibility options, size of subtitles, as well as three different colorblind modes. That's so good. What else have we got here? Uh, seven languages uh, and they've got 17 languages for subtitles uh, release times what else have we got the final countdown as we prepare for launch i want to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of our hearts your support throughout the development meant the world to us for years it's been a constant source of motivation to bring the best possible game and success of warhammer 40k space marine on path of the entertainment and saber interactive thank you it's been incredible we can't wait to take up arms and space marine now prepare your chainsaws and bolters here for the fight of your lives the emperor protects i am so excited and um, this has answered a lot of questions. We finally am able to play Space Marine on Steam Deck. It's going to be a real thing by the end of the year. Uh, I am stoked. So without further ado, thanks for this quick video. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.